We're out here in the backyard. Ethan's in the house. The dogs are in the house. And uh, the other day, Ethan sent me a message saying that he had finally, finally joined Club Traxxas. And he got... Traxxas Stampede two-wheel drive. Nothing. Nothing crazy. All the basics. But I love it. It's fun. First two-wheel drive one I have. I like it. So immediately when he told me that, I grabbed my trusty rustler we went to the park and we gave those things a workout which kind of got me thinking we were having an awful lot of fun for the cheapest least expensive bottom tier traxxas vehicles they even have but what we don't have any experience with is the absolute cheapest traxxas that money can buy at just 159 dollars how good is the fastest name in radio control i'm talking of course about the bandit and like I said, we don't really know anyone that's ever had one. I've never had one. I don't know anyone that's had one. So we did the only logical thing a person can do. And we bought one. take a look at the cheapest Traxxas money can buy a uh, Traxxas bandit two-wheel drive brushed and we're gonna run that against the uh the old stampede how much did you pay for this thing Ethan 70 bucks 70 doll hairs that's not very many doll hairs so while Ethan is getting this thing set up to run on a lipo battery it is worth mentioning that uh this does come with a nickel metal hydride a seven cell and a 12 volt charger that you plug into like a a cigarette lighter in your car that you can use to charge the battery. The Stampede, Ethan is running this on a 2S LiPo today. The only modification that this has done is an RPM front bumpy and a hot racing steering servo saver. Nice. I'm away. I'm away. Why? Now this thing, of course, being two-wheel drive and a really short wheelbase is a wheelie machine. Most importantly, it looks like it can pretty much outrun Lily, which is a good thing to be able to do around here. Oh! And it's okay! All right, Ethan, so you've had this thing for a couple days now. You also have an arm of granite that is 3S brushless madman. What do you think? How would they compare? With the 3S and brushless system that's in the granite now, there's no Two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is completely different handling, a lot of different characteristics to it. Every time you touch this thing, it's just beauty. But so far, I mean, it's been pretty durable, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just the one servo. Right. But I, I'm not, again, saying that could have been previous owner damage. I can do better than you. Anything you could do, I could do better. I can do better than you. Yeah. I can never borrow from no man. So all in all, the Stampede is a lot of fun for being a brushed little two-wheel drive monster truck. But uh, now it's time to take a look at the Bandit. So it looks like Ethan lost another servo 
that servo has literally lasted less than one battery pack. I got that in the mail today, brand new from Traxxas. And, and it's dead? Go, yep. You can hear it spinning. Oh yeah. So I think Ethan's gonna buy one of those Kevin Talbot approved Eco Boosts. Is that right? Yeah, I think I'll give it a whirl. I'm not. I mean, for the same price, I might as well try something that's supposedly better and upgraded. And we'll find out because that one didn't last but an hour. Now I know you're all wondering, and so are we. It's staying pretty well planted and covering terrain pretty well. But honestly, how fast is it going? You know, a crawler covers terrain pretty well and stays pretty well planted, and it's only going, you know, ten, six. So let's put the GPS on it. All right, we got the GPS speedometer on there, all zeroed out, set to peak speed. Ethan, will you do the honors? No, I don't think so. I think that's a full chap. Oh, and the GPS fell off. We got zero miles per hour. It must not have been recording. Record. Yeah. Helps if you actually hit record. All right. Send it. Do, 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 do. What do you think? 22. 22, I'm gonna say 17. 21, how do you yeah. do it? <laughs> All right, every time I do a speed run, and Ethan's not with me, I always text him, hey, what do you think Blank did? And he is within one mile an hour, literally every time, every time. <laughs> Dude, you're, oh, a that's great. you're a wizard. If only. You see what I mean about steering though? It is just like a little fly, a little. <laughs> it just zips around. I gotta admit, I do like it a lot better than I thought that I would. Uh, and Ethan said that he agreed, same with the Stampede, you know, he thought that he was gonna pull out the brush system and put a brushless motor in it, you know, and all that stuff. But, you know, for as little money that you have into these, uh, I think they're just, they're, they're fun. There's no being mad about breaking it. It's, they're cheap enough and easy enough to fix that it's fast repeat fast repeat and that is the one good thing about it being traxxas you know traxxas is a brand that people love or hate there's usually not a whole lot of in between there but the one good thing about them is parts are readily available you walk into any hobby shop and they're gonna have everything you need to put this thing back together no matter how bad you bash it you can probably get half the parts at a local garage sale like it's there's just everybody's had them at one point in time except me this is my first one. <laughs> so what do you think, Ethan? Is it gonna replace your arm of granite? In some aspects, yeah. If you just wanna grab something, throw it in the trunk and go play, yeah. I'll grab this probably before I do the granite just for the fact that if you just got some little in-town backyard, I can't play with it. You don't have enough room for me to run it. So these are great anywhere. Backyard, parking lot, golf course, legally. You can have, <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with it for sure. We're not saying that this is going to replace your super awesome $600 Arma or Traxxas or Red Cat or whatever you've got. But something like this definitely has its place in the hobby. And I think, you know, for all the times that I have friends or my nieces that want to drive my $600 Creighton, you know, I'm going to have no problem giving them the controls to this and say, full send kids, full send. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. What do you think? Do you have a Traxxas Bandit or a Traxxas Stampede or a Traxxas Wrestler? And if you do, have you modified it or did you keep it stock? Let me know down in the comment section below. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. We like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. We've got some pretty cool stuff coming up. You're going to want to stay tuned. Until next time. Peace. Peace.